Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the signs of trig functions. So signs of trig functions. Now there's many ways to remember the signs of trig functions. Uh, this is just uh, one way. So this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. So this is x, y, And in the first quadrant, this is quadrant 1, all of the trig functions are positive. So all. So all. By all, I mean um, sine of theta, cosine of theta, and tangent of theta. Okay. Now, sine of theta, if you recall, was y over r. Cosine of theta was x over r and tangent of theta was y over x. So in this quadrant, both x and y are positive, so therefore all of these guys are positive, right? y is positive, and then r is also positive, so positive over positive is positive. Likewise, x is positive, r is positive, positive over positive is positive. And again, y and x are positive, so when you divide two positive numbers, you get a positive number. The reciprocals in this case would also be positive, so cosecant, secant, and cotangent. In quadrant two, so usually you just memorize the signs of these, and then you think about the reciprocals, uh, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Here, the x is negative. So here, um, cosine of theta is negative, and sine of theta is positive. Sine is positive here, because sine is, sine is y, right? See, sine is y, cosine has the x. And then tangent is when you divide these, so tangent would be negative in this case, okay? It was a trick. Look, all students, so all are positive, sine is positive, then over here, this is quadrant three, uh, here sine theta is negative because it's the y, cosine theta is negative because it's the x, and tan theta is positive because we divide two negatives and you get a positive. So all students take, and then I have to finish it, calculus. All students take calculus, right? So all of them are positive here, right? Sine, cosine, and tangent. Only sine is positive here. Only tangent is positive here. And only cosine is positive here. So in this case here, sine theta is negative. Cosine theta is positive, And then tangent here is negative. So when you say all, you really, we're only talking about sine, cosine, and tangent. So, so they're all positive here, because all students take calculus. Here, sine is positive, here tangent is positive, here cosine is positive. So all students take calculus. Pretty easy trick. Uh, and you can memorize it like this. All students take calculus. Okay, pretty easy. Um, let's do a simple example. So the question will say, uh, find the quadrant. Find the quadrant. So we want the quadrant where the sine of theta is less than zero and the secant of theta is greater than zero. We have to find the quadrant. So sine is negative. So let's see. So we know all students take calculus. So in this case, secant is one over cosine. So that means cosine is positive and sine is negative. So it's where cosine is positive and sine is negative. That's going to be right up here, cosine positive, uh, and then sine is negative here. So only cosine is positive here, right, because all students take calculus, so only cosine is positive. That would mean we're in quadrant four. Okay, and uh, that's it. So you can do many problems like this, but the key is all students take calculus.